life. Twitch Everyone. is a bit different, but uh, I think we are live. This makes sense comes to the listening to this morning and they just spent the first nearly 12 minutes talking about eggs what that makes sense so uh, the music has ended we we are officially live <laughs> and we could spend right. the next 12 minutes talking about eggs if you'd like <laughs> no no i had enough of that this morning um, hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode three. Three hundred percent better than three weeks ago um, uh, of the, the Pixel Pints podcast, where a group of people from around the world get together to talk about things that we all enjoy, which is good beer and craft games. Good yes. games and craft beer. Let's do that. Let's just just, just roll with it. Um, so, in, intros, Matt, as ever on the on the ones and twos. Um, DJ Burkov, um, as if you, uh, I'm seriously thinking about taking you off one point for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you should you should explain for our audio listeners who may be not watching the video version. Um, Matt tried to um, just pretend that he was scratching decks, which yeah, yeah that wasn't that wasn't so great. Um, <laughs> yes, we do have an audio an, an audio version follow us on spotify apple itunes anchor.fm google podcasts anywhere you get your podcasts you can also follow us on twitter which is pixel underscore pints or on our instagram page which is pixel pints pod um where we're mainly posting pictures of beer and food and i i i've I've saved the videos of me playing Greedfall and walking into a tavern. I just haven't clipped them down so that I can then share them. <laughs> nice. um, but it, there is some funny shit. So this at one time I walked into the tavern and everyone is standing on the tables and then just magically <laughs> appears in the, in the seats. Um, so, there's some, uh, so there's some great stuff like that. Right. So I've introduced Matt. Um, uh, we'll go recurring guests first, Evan. Welcome back. How are things in Japan? Good. Rainy season started, which means it's just going to rain for the next two weeks straight and then go into insanely humid summer like it's the bayou in Louisiana or something. Um, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, drinking a Sapporo Classic. First brewed in 1985, the year of my birth. And my birthday is actually one month from today, which means Matt will have plenty of time to sabotage my birthday episode. So, uh, <laughs> I'm doing run, fine. Running joke there because uh, we tried to do a birthday episode for me back in February on our previous channel, The Beer Under It, and the, and the sound didn't work. Yeah. And then we tried to do a episode on um, a previous guest on Mitch Sikorsky, who you can follow at Mitch Sikor or follow what he does at Sifted Games on Twitter. Um, and Matt managed to screw that one up as well. So we, we think Matt's got something against birthdays in general, whether he thinks they should be abolished or... I, I do, and I'm not going to tell you what my birthday is so that you guys do not celebrate it. It's next month, isn't it? It's no, this, it's, it's this month. It's, this, it's yeah. June 24th or something? Jesus, dude. Yes, it is the 24th. <laughs> Right. So Evan, well, Evan can remember your birthday, but not a conversation that we've had a week ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, right, Dan, I'm pretty sure we should kick you off this show for drinking what you're drinking at the moment. Um, how are things sorry. in Lincoln, and what are you drinking? Uh, well, I'm drinking Bud Light, which is well, average. Um, and then I'm drinking a gin and tonic, which... <laughs> what the? So, I'm breaking all the rules. <laughs> There's, but the there's sun's gotta... come out after a week of rain in the, across the UK. So I thought, wow. And that's the first gin and tonic I've actually had of the summer. So There's got to be like a, a fucked up co cocktail name for that. Like drop the Bud Light into the gin and tonic. And, and <laughs> Dude, that like, just ruined both drinks. Yeah, wow. Hit the table anyone... and swig it. Yeah. <laughs> there was a, an episode of Alan Partridge 
um, where he ordered a gin and tonic, and then the person who he was with started taking the, the piss out of him for saying, what are you ordering a gin and tonic for? So he ordered a, a, a large Baileys and started taking the piss out of him for ordering a large Baileys because that's a, a, a woman's drink. So he orders a pint of lager and then tries to make out that it was all one set of drinks and turn it into <laughs> uh, and turn it into one round. Um, uh, that would be horrible. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, my birthday's two weeks today, my thirtieth, so that'll be fun. Are, you, are we, <laughs> Matt? You haven't got time for sabotaging that, although I'm sure you you'll think of something. I will by then, yeah. Yeah, but, um, um, Liam, welcome back. How's good. things with you? Yeah, it's good. I'm much more at peace with myself after this week because I'm no longer waiting for something. Get into that yes. later. Oh, I hate into... waiting. I hate waiting. <laughs> and um, a very special welcome to Michael, um, who, um, big thanks to him because he did the art for us on our Instagram and Twitter accounts. And also that you can see on Spotify. So thank you very much, Michael. How's things with you? And you're not actually drinking beer, but we don't mind because we're the Pixel Pints podcast. <laughs> um, so drinking cider. What, what is it you're drinking? Uh, I'm drinking an uh, old mouth because uh, I I haven't had one in a really long time trying to keep up with uh, your recommendations. And even that this week we're not uh, doing a testing, uh, tasting, uh, I, I just took a weapon of my choice. Uh, yeah, things, things are pretty fine here in Southend and eventful as always whether it's nice just uh, just enjoy my weekend cool right just to say as well next week um we'll have a special uh second episode of palatable points where Dan hosts us and takes us through a tasting session where everyone's drinking the same beer Dan do you want to give everyone a quick intro of what that's going to be yeah um the beer for next week will be a just a standard brew dog IPA uh, just to see, compare that with the stout and then uh, moving on the week after, hopefully, if everyone can get hold of it, it will be, or the next one we do, will be um, the Big Wave Ale from Hawaii. So that'd be cool. Aloha, bitches. Um, <laughs> that's what they say in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, that's, I've been watching reruns of Supernatural and that's what, um, I can't remember the, the woman's name is in it but that's where she greets the two brothers quite often, which I think was quite funny. Right, Matt, you're having a breakfast beer. I is, am. It, are you, is it a milk coffee stout? No, um, I am drinking Anchor Steam. I don't know if you can see it in my camera, but uh, Anchor Steam beer. This is a throwback to pre-prohibition American beer. Uh, it is... That's a dark amber. Yeah, it's, uh, it's darker... The style is called California Common, um, and it gets the name Steam Beer from the way that they used to chill the wort. So they would chill the wort outside uh, at night, and it would obviously the the wort would steam, and so therefore it was Steam Beer. Uh, but yeah, this is the closest that you can get probably to the way beer used to be in America before they entirely fucked the whole industry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said before civilization arrived. Um, <laughs> uh, right. Um, we're, so we are we all right to move into the quiz? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll change my background for everyone listening. Um, my audio quality might not be that great because I run this off my iPad so that I can change my background. And it says quiz master because I fucking will am. Um, it's currently... All even and 12 points each for Team Matt and Team Evan. But Evan technically won um, the first quiz that was on episode one. So, Evan, would you like to go first or second? And after you've made your choice, I'll tell you how this is going to work because we've got an uneven number of guests. <laughs> All right. So, possible disadvantage to going first uh, or you're the quiz master, so you're making me think that. This is like the Princess Bride. He's trying to the the, the smartest guy in the room is trying to uh, outthink the other one so much so that he ends up being the idiot. That sounds like a chapter in my life. So I'm just gonna go. You know what? Uh, seconds worked for me uh, up until now, so I'll keep doing that till it doesn't. I'll go second. 
Okay, so that means Matt and Liam, you're going first. And how are we going to include Michael in this? For every correct answer that you get, you can add Michael to your team. Hmm. But as soon as, you, as soon as you get a question wrong, you lose him. So you start off with a team of three. <laughs> and if you get a question wrong, you, Michael drops out. If you get a question right, he stays there. Does that make sense to everyone? Because I'm sure. trying to be yeah, inclusive. Exactly. Sure. I'm going to default to you for the rules. Uh... <laughs> so currently, it's team the team of Matt, Liam, and Michael. Okay. Or, oh, you start, mm, out, you start out with Michael. Okay. Team mm. <laughs> Um But if you get a question wrong... Um, Michael drops out until you get a question right, and then he comes back in for the next question. Okay. Right. So starting with games, first question is, what is BioWare's average critics review score across all their games on Metacritic? Jesus. Is it 67, 77, or 87? Uh, I'm going to – I think, guys, that it's going to be 77, but um, I'm curious to think what, what you guys – I feel the same way. 87 seems far too high. Yeah. Yeah. I'll plus. trust you. I was thinking oh, 87. But, but yeah, it's I, hard I, because I, even the games that I don't like were rated quite high. Like, yeah. Like Dragon Age Inquisition. Well, um, oh, yeah, that it's was, only that was really, really high. high. And Dragon Age 2 was a bad game, but I remember it reviewed quite high. Because about... usually they do great games, but Andromeda was a failure, so only that scored like terribly. So I think that might have brought it down. But yeah. I was thinking of eighty-seven. Were it can't be that low. Were the uh, Baldur's Gate and Neverwinter games? Were they in, are they included in the Metacritic? Scores? Everything they've ever made under the Bioware name. Mm. I, I think I'm going to side with with Wrath. So we're Not going eighty-seven then. <laughs> it's up to you. See. All right, eighty-seven. He's wrong. Fuck. Oh, seventy-seven. Is it? Is it I'm not gonna, I'm not get gonna offer it over because you just. You, I'm not going to offer it over because I, I thought it. sixty-seven. But oh, okay, well, that would have been it? wrong anyway. Yeah, no, seven, he doesn't yeah. care because he's fucked off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the quiz has started and everyone's left, uh, and Evan has left. Uh, Sorry, I'm less. back. Yeah, I, let's not do the. It, it adds so much time to the to the game if we jump in to say what we want so yeah i'd so right. just go on to the next question no, no so no points to anyone um question two Fire what rap. year did the psp launch sorry oh, the psp that was 2007 i think 2007 or 2008 mm -hmm. well, we got Is that wrong Michael, so you nice? can't you can't answer this because <laughs> i got the question wrong liam do you want to you you look um, like you want something wait did you did you say options because what wasn't it, it no launched... it's just what did it, what okay. year did it launch oh, God. oh wait it actually launched, wait, it P launched before the playstation 3 and the playstation 3 launched in 2006 so it's got to be uh, oh. i think i think it is four or five uh, i think yeah let's let's go let's go oh four because that uh that seems too early and that might be the right answer okay 2004 is wrong Damn it. Oh, it's 2005, isn't it? Is it? It's 2005. 2005. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, no points uh, again. Right. Yeah. Last question before Wait, we hand it, over. Does Michael have to leave? He like keeps going like steps back if they keep getting it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I like, yeah, there you go. It's, it's like it's like the sixth sense. Once he hits the door, Fight he can go back background. to his room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get, so get, get absorbed by the PlayStation Five. Yeah, the, Another... the mold is getting me. <laughs> Final question for you guys on games: multiple choice one. How many Super Mario games have there ever been? Is it two hundred and six, two hundred and thirty-six, or two hundred and fifty-six? Does it really make a difference at that point? <laughs> I was really shocked when I looked this up to see how many of there actually were. It's got to be 256 then. Um, 206. I, I don't believe there's that much. I, we, there's got to be 256. Uh, he's throwing us off. You think so? All right, I'm <laughs> going with I'm going, I'm going nah, Liam's nah. answer. He was, <laughs> I'm going to get the blame. <laughs> 206. I'm going to offer this one over. 
Oh, so what are the other two answers? 236, 256. Yep. Uh, so I, 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 I don't know. Uh, Evan I, went I with 256, it. so I think I, I went agree with 256. Games or appearances? This is distinct together. games. Yeah, 256. It is 256. Yes, uh, Evan, good it. job. <laughs> oh, so, 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 so when, 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 when you say Super Mario, you mean like literally just all Mario games? It doesn't have yep. to start with Super. No. Ah. But how? I was discarding all of the spin off so titles got, and everything. Yeah, you know, well, he's got. As, when. Well, the, the, yeah, I just. I was shocked. Um, I'll have to look it up. Those should be appearances. But yeah, like. If you say so. I'll, so, I'll does that include games like Mario is Missing? <laughs> yes, include, in, includes. Um, no, so it be games where he is the main character, but you think about how many Mario games there have been over the years for every single Nintendo platform. Right. Yeah. And Club, then including think, Mario Hotel. Yeah. Mario teaches um, typing. Dr. Mario. Dr. Dr. Mario, Mario uh, 3DS. Dr. Mario D. Like, <laughs> they had, like, made yeah. so many Mario games. You also count that game. three releases. <laughs> Um, I, I haven't individually counted them. What I did was I, I went onto Google and thought up some questions and typed them in and then picked the answer out from what Google told me. Um, I didn't, I didn't I, go I and find all 256 games myself so that I could... Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, not like, fact checker. it's not like getting all 999 moons. Because last time when I checked, uh, the appearances <laughs> were in mid-200s, like 250 or something. So they weren't really games, but yeah, well, that's research for after the show. Don't try and prove me wrong. This quiz <laughs> he's, he's, I was just thinking the same Ricky thing. Say. <laughs> right, well, you, well, you, you're back in now, Michael. Oh, um, right. Well, until so, question one on games: How for Evan, Dan, Michael? Um. How many years were there between GTA 3 and GTA 5 launching? GTA 5 was 2013. Um, yeah. I think I know that. Yeah, so sure, GTA 3 released in 2001. So there will be 12 years. That's correct. I'm happy with that. Yep, yep, good job. We we got completely lucky. Ready lucky. We got rock, rock star, rock star, star number one on that question, which is yeah, uh, yeah. And there and there will probably be twelve years between GTA Five and GTA Six. Probably more, I would think. Yeah. Now that, yeah. Uh, well, Does, it's which, which comes later. out? Which comes out first? <laughs> Elder Elder Scrolls Six or GTA Six? That's the, GTA that's the real Ooh. question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Twenty uh, years of the development. Years have been exponentially uh, higher in number because it's one year, then two years, then four years, then twelve years. <laughs> um. Uh. Very very quickly. I don't want to. Shove this in. I'm drinking a, a different beer. This is Suduga Bay, which I'm, it's some bay in Japan. I don't know. This looks like fireworks. It's an Imperial IPA. It's 8.5%. Uh, it was a brewery in Japan started by an American and his Japanese wife. They quit their jobs in Tokyo, went back to the north, um, the northwest in uh, the States, learned how to brew beer, came back and started brewing beer in like a their house in 97 and they turned it into like a huge company now That's awesome. so i'm drinking it out of my massively pretentious brandy snifter and oh my god can i smell this lovely imperial ipa please continue i'm sorry for uh wasting your time quizmaster. right minus one point for evan for interrupting me, please um, <laughs> that, that answer that rafa got us was pointless <laughs> Um, show, by the right. Way. I like that point show. went down the drain. <laughs> we get to keep Qu- question, team. That's good. Question two: um, What is From Software's average critic score across all their games on Metacritic? Is it seventy-three, eighty-three, or ninety-three? Do you guys know what the Dark Souls games? I want get? to say seventy-three. But that's me just being pessimistic. I, I, they they, they made that like me, but I think they average eights. Do you remember they made that Ninja Ga- Ninja Gaiden ripoff 
Ninja something. You remember that game, Ninja mm. something? I'm just, I'm trying to think. Didn't they make like a, a mech game? They made a horrible dungeon crawler back in the day. But then you'd think all the Dark Souls games, including Bloodborne and Sekiro, oh have the lifted the that score up. Like, it's got to be, I mean, it's got to be 80 or... Yeah. I just go don't, I one. think... Go with the middle. Yeah, I think some of the early ones would have brought that down under a 90. Does that sound... Right to you guys. I'm happy with that. I thought it was low. Right. So I'll go with the middle. Yeah, I think it's uh, 80 something. So you're going to go with 83. Yeah. Is wrong. Yes. Oh, level one. I guess it's 73. Oh, that, that, that was my first thought. Damn it. That mech, damn it, damn that it. mech assault game Sorry. was uh, <laughs> that got that got 50s. Was it? Oh man! Yeah. See, I didn't know how bad their bad games were. I wasn't they, sure. they, used to, they used to be a shovelware <laughs> studio. Didn't yeah, they, yeah. they put out some load of crap on the on previous gen. Didn't they make the Damn Armored Core games too? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. all right, no worries. Right, final question. Right. Um, if you bought all of the different PlayStation consoles at launch, from the original PlayStation up to the PS4, how much in dollars would you have spent? And we're talking about the base console versions, so we're not talking... Them. All right, $1,000 for PS3 and PS4... Didn't the paid. PlayStation did the PlayStation One launch at two ninety nine? It was it was it's was, it was either that or the PlayStation Two, which had the conference where he came up and said, "Oh yeah, it was two hundred ninety nine dollars, right?" Yeah. So that's Japan. that's PlayStation that's PlayStation One. About it. So six hundred for the PlayStation Three, four hundred for four, plus two ninety nine. That's thirteen hundred. What was the PlayStation Two at launch? Wait, does this include PSP and Vita? No, just the, okay. the, the home consoles. Well, so the 99, are you, are you accepting to the, the nearest zero or do you want the actual 99? Yeah, the nearest zero is an extra okay. point if you can get it exactly right, though. Okay, going to do my maths. Does anyone remember what the P PS2 was? I want to say... Three, 99, I want to say. 250 or three? Maybe and because it's the last 90. question, if you do get it wrong, I am offering it over. And Liam's yeah, got this little enough. wry smirk on his face. Oh, don't worry, it normally means nothing. <laughs> Nor it normally <laughs> means nothing, but in this case... Um, so what did you think, Evans? A thousand bucks for three and nothing. four? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because th that's for sure. Yeah, PlayStation, you know, $599, and then it was 399 for the PS4. Yeah, so that's right. So... for the PS1. So, the fuck was the PS2? Uh -huh. Was it? I wanted to say there was like some ridiculous like. I want to say it's three ninety nine, but maybe too early for a three ninety nine price tag. I I don't I don't think it was. Was it four hundred dollars? It might have been four hundred. The... I Michael, think because they went so oh, high no, he's up. Not, he's not part of PlayStation team, Three. They went so high up on that's, PlayStation that's Three and then dropped back down to PlayStation Two numbers. That's what I want to say in my head, but maybe that's completely bollocks. <laughs> they probably because Sony had you know they were they were riding high in PlayStation 1 they probably upped the price for the PlayStation 2 right I don't think they'd go yeah. straight 299 that's so it'd be like 350 be. 400 it wasn't 5 think, there's no fucking way it was 5 no, it was no 350 or got, 4 I think 4 or 399 okay. so alright you want to do that so is that 1000 is that 17 plus, yeah 17 minus Four cents. Yep. Which is uh, sixteen. So you think it's sixteen hundred ninety-six dollars? Yeah. Is wrong. Uh, right. It's... Liam, Matt, and Michael, do you want to weigh in on this one? Try and steal a point. I, I think they were a hundred short. Yeah. 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 I think. I would have said fifty. Uh, but yeah, maybe one hundred. Fifteen hundred, nine hundred, and ninety-six. Sorry, it's no. wrong. Uh, what wrong. was it? It's how much was the PlayStation 2? Oh, so the PlayStation 1 and 2 are a lot cheaper. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so oh. it was two two ninety nine for the PlayStation, two ninety nine yeah. for oh. PlayStation 2. Okay. Fuck. Five, nine, four ninety nine. No, you guys both got thrown off because I did say base consoles and there was two SKUs of the PS3 and you both went for the 599 60 gig one as opposed to the 20 gig. But that oh, was the base course. console though. 
Like nobody bought the cheap. Well, one. to be fair, it was the base. It was the base console, and the upgrade uh, was the fifty six six six. I had the front. Front. Uh, uh, Keith, yeah. Keith, Keith, Keith. Didn't, didn't, didn't they, they brought out the sixty gigabyte <laughs> model, I believe, and then they brought out the twenty gigabyte model afterwards as like sort of control because of you know how people were complaining about the price. So I'm pretty sure the sixty gigabyte was mm. the base model. I'm gonna look it up. Sorry to challenge you, Quits Master. <laughs> You're gonna lose no, your just points, man. Just keep your mouth Especially shut. Especially because everybody wanted the backwards compatibility, and they took that out. And no, um... it says the base models had uh, an list of hard drive sizes, and twenty was a base model. Hmm. Might have been so... different in Europe. I'm not sure. Yeah, keep keep crawling, Liam. <laughs> yeah, there were the, several um, original hard was... hardware models of PlayStation Three. The most what common ones 20... had a 20 and 60, but they're also worldwide was a 40 and 80. What, what was the price of those? So yeah. there was three, there was 399 for the 20, 599 for the 60. Was 399. Yeah. Damn. All right. So 100 out. Never mind. Or 200 out. Never mind. Right. Getting on to beers. Um, Matt, Liam, um, Michael. Yeah. What order of monks started a brew house in the 17th century to pay for the upkeep of their French monastery and now have 12 different styles of beer brewed across France, Belgium, Germany, the Netherlands, and the USA? Uh, I know this answer. <laughs> I think it's, the, I think I know what it is. I think it's this. But I don't know what the brew is called. But yeah, I. I think I think that's the one of their beers, Evan. Yeah, that's that the was... name. Because I know who they've purchased in the US, so that's what makes me think that. This isn't the wait. Where where were they originally located? France. France. Shit, I don't know. Um... Is there any chance to guess? Not, not it's a style like of beer that was started by monks, so it's not a brewery. It's oh, a... style of beer. Oh, I missed that question. Okay, so. Wow. Well, it's the order of monks that have given their name to a sort of various different styles of beer right. at each monastery that they. Random guess at any styles of. Uh, barley wine. No. Right. Does um, anyone want to have can, a go? Can I throw. The only two nit things that come to mind and uh, is I don't even know if they're technically styles. Is like a Trappist or an Abbey. It is Trappist. Is it? All right. So I was thinking of the Belgian beer with the pink elephant on it. Delirium yeah, I know Tremens? that one. But... Yeah. I'm going to give Evan a plus one for getting that. Um... Good job, Evan. I, I, I saved the point I lost, so. <laughs> so now I'm in never steam for the next question. Yeah. Um, yeah, unless unless Matt and Liam get this one right. And I'm, I don't know, I've got a feeling that Matt might get this one. Hopefully. And how's a Bush, makers of Budweiser in the US, settled a lengthy lawsuit with a Czech brewery over the naming rights, leading to them <laughs> foregoing all sales in North America? What was the name of the Czech beer? Check beer. Um, I I remember the lawsuit. I, ah, fuck. I remember um, hearing about it. Yeah. It's not. Um, Would it be something similar in name? I don't know if it's. It would have to be because otherwise, yeah, Anna has a bush wouldn't sue over naming rights. Yeah, but they didn't call it Budweiser. Be a similar name. Yeah. They, it may have involved the, the word Budweiser. Something visor. <laughs> I know this. It this is a really common pub question. Um, I think. Yeah, let's go with Budweiser. Hmm? Yeah, but it's. So, yeah. And what? Yeah, Bud, I'm Budweiser trying to help you out here because you can't People who got the lawsuit we've got a name who started the lawsuit against them. So, uh, so Budweiser, know. what? I, I don't know. Check. Right, okay. Not right, Dan, do you wanna... But I, was, I think it's Budweiser, check, but I don't know. Budweiser, it's like, I thought it was C H E Z something. I could be wrong. 
No, it's not. It's Budweiser Budva. Oh, Budva! Okay. I wouldn't have. Yeah, I've I heard that. I've heard of that, but I wouldn't have I, I heard that of a lawsuit, but no way I would have got that. Oh, interesting. It was a long lawsuit as well. That, that could yeah. be another question. Like how many years did this lawsuit go on for? Um, right, <laughs> last, it's it's 13 years. <laughs> last question. Castle Lager comes from which country? Castle Lager. See. I know this. I think. Norway, Germany. I was going to say Germany. Yeah, uh... like would all, just... would all be wrong by right. the name. Uh, like South Africa. It is South <laughs> Africa. Oh, wow. <laughs> Woo! Okay. And, Today I learned um, <laughs> many things. <laughs> I'll, I'll give I'll give you guys a plus one on that because it was the last question on that section. Right, another question handing over. That so, Michael, welcome back to Team. Evan, um, another question about Anheuser Busch. Anheuser Busch is the largest beer brand owner in the world, um, but who is the second largest after buying um, Brazil Kirin and Lagatunas in 2017? Or Langunitas? Wait, Bud- Lagunitas? Lagunitas? Yes. Wait uh, I was I was under the assumption that. Uh, InBev and South African Brewing Company were the two major things that owned basically everything, like banks. They just absorbed everything. Um, hmm. But if you're saying Budweiser, I'm not... No, it's, it's not Budweiser, it's Anheuser-Busch. So, Anheuser-Busch okay, Anheuser is the owner of Budweiser, yeah, but yeah, they're yeah, not yeah, the yeah. big... Yeah. Yeah, second so they are, the, they are the biggest beer brand owner. Who is the second biggest? Did you say in the world? Yep. In the world. And it's a very common lager. Well, I mean, oh man, Carlsberg. Wait, Carlsberg is huge. It's everywhere, but that's the name of the. This is throwing they me also, off. They also own many different brands. Yeah. So, do you want to go with Carlsberg? What about Stella? Uh, or Stella? Stella? No, I don't know. I actually don't. Curid? No, no. I mean, Carlsberg is fucking everywhere. Their name is on like football stuff all all yeah, over the place. Yeah, but that's just the, that's their. Just bit. The he, beer, right? yeah. Multiple beer companies. Yeah, this, company that's what's owns multiple beer companies. That's what's screwing me up. Um, I know As- Asahi bought a ton of shit, even in Europe as well, but uh, I doubt it's the second. I just don't know what names are slapped on what. They changed that. You know, Miller's, Miller Coors. I don't know. I was always under the assumption that InBev in South Africa, SAB, pretty much has like licensed or owns everything. So you say Anheuser Busch. What are you thinking, Dan? I honestly don't know. I'll be honest. I do not know. No idea. I'll be probably be like, oh, when he tells me the answer, but I don't. Nothing going. Well, it's definitely something that we know. Matt and Lee, do you want to have a go? Because you're not answering, so I'm getting bored. I I want to say that it's Miller. Yeah. I'll just yeah, get what Matt says. Well, everyone's wrong. Do you Stella? Put you out of your misery. Yes. Heineken. Oh, oh wow. Heineken. Wow. I actually bought that. Yeah, because Heineken, yeah. Don't Heineken own Carl? No, they don't own Carlsberg. They so the, the, three, the three biggest ones, everyone was quite close, is Anheuser Busch, then Heineken, then Carlsberg. Wow. Uh, okay. Okay. That's, that's, the ones that that's the one you forget. The most brands. It's, it's mm, always Heineken sitting in the corner. Yeah. No one's it's drinking James it. Bond. It's what James <laughs> Bond drinks. All right, I'm going to read you a description of the beer, of a beer. Um, see if you can tell me the name of the beer by the description. This is a rich Belgian-style wheat beer dating from 1445. It has a cloudy appearance, fruity taste, spice notes with a hint of citrus. It has also been described as a white ale. What beer it's is it? Be... Is it Hugo? not that one? Oh, sorry? Hogarden, yeah, I think it's Hogarden. Yeah, that's what I'd have gone with. It is Hogarden. Yes, good job. And last question. Uh, Snake Venom is a fortified Scottish beer and in 2013 was confirmed as the world's strongest beer. What is its ABV? (laughs) 37%, 53%, or 67%? It's 53%. Snake Venom. 
That's all way more than I was going to aim for. 53. 67. I think because of the poison. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go with I'll go with that. It's fine with that. This is a massive guess. It's that there. It's it's so got to be. Where is that done? I said sixty-seven. It is sixty-seven. Get yes. the hell out of here. That's that's wow. twenty-seven percent higher than whiskey. Good job, bud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's insane. That's like Holy um, shit. Uh, Bacardi one hundred and one, one hundred and fifty-one. Sorry. You could, you could go <laughs> blind from drinking that beer. <laughs> I'd be scared. One hundred and fifty-one is set. Is yeah. I'd be 70, really scared to have 70 percent that. that is. We used to drink that at uni because it was even though it was more expensive, you got drunk on less of them. So. <laughs> have you guys ever heard of uh, Sam, Sammy Claus? <laughs> Sammy, Sammy what? Sammy Claus. Sammy Claus. <laughs> it's like a, a lame Santa. Hey everyone, it's Sammy Claus. <laughs> I'm the <No>, brother. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's like 18 percent. And it's okay. It's virtually impossible to drink. It's like fifty dollars for a four pack. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. I d- All right, I'll have to. I'm just curious what it looks Evans like. Evans are uh, insight on very strong beers, so he can try to find. Yeah. So out. even even Evan can't describe snake venom as a session beer, right? So <laughs> I, might, I I might have to draw the line at at that. Yeah. So Team Evan got a grand total of eight points. Well done, Team Evan. Uh. Team Matt's got a grand total of no points. Wah, wah, wah. I need to so, get a sound um, word. Did you guys lose the Matt... point that you gained? No, no. I only you would lose point, Adam. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I asked, I asked, I ran right into that, Liam. I have nothing to say. <laughs> um, the, so, the score up now? so the scores now are Team Matt is on 12 points and Team Evan is on 20 points. Cool. Um, Matt, I think you need to challenge Evan to something so that you can either steal his lead and you even everything up. Knife, knife fight, knife fight in the alley yeah. to the death. <laughs> if I, yeah, um, let, me, let me let me go grab my Nintendo Switchblade. There you go. Yeah, I got <laughs> mine's still over there. I think I it. Uh, slight update, <laughs> Quizmaster. Um, there was only a sixty gigabyte model in the in Europe. So we never oh, got well, the 20 gigabyte Europe, though, outside he? of Europe. Yeah, he it was in dollars. Europe. This is yeah, the worldwide. He said dollars. So we don't yeah, sell in yeah, dollars yeah. in Europe. I, I, also, I know. Also, 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 don't Andrew. try and fuck with me. Otherwise, I'll just start deducting <laughs> you points. Also, regarding the, <laughs> the, the map question, points. <laughs> regarding the PSP question, uh, I, I don't think you mentioned... But, Liam, now you said that that makes sense because I was in Asia yeah. when that I, came I, out. I so I knew about the 20 gig model. We, we didn't actually time, get a so. different model until later in the year, but it was still, it was an 80 gigabyte model. It was very weird. Like, I was looking it up, and it was all over the place, depending on where yeah. you live. It was even like, the 160 model as well. And, yeah. and didn't the PSP I, I, I still concur cool. that I still concur that the 60 gigabyte model was the base model. <laughs> yeah. Did, did, uh, Sadly, play, uh, uh, Sony's not a uh, British brand, I mean, a European brand, so. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the right, one, Michael. Japan. Just Probably just interrupt these fuckers because I'm sick. Of <laughs> <That's them. laughs> no, PSP. I, uh, I know, I know that the PSP like uh, actually released in 2004, but in Japan. So maybe maybe what you meant was oh. in worldwide. I think worldwide released in 2005. Ooh. Maybe probably I'm wrong. On mine, it, it, on the package, it wrote 2004 because it was. I don't know. But that could have been when it's manufactured as opposed to when it was that shipped. That could be when they put yeah. the... Uh, paper. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I'll have to look it up. Uh, so PSP it, uh, released, first released in Japan on December 12, 20, 2004, and then followed by March 24, 2005 yeah. in USA. I, th- I yeah. think we can kind of be f- just assume like we're talking about Western release dates, right? Because that's yeah, what sure, we would know. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Unless, but, but, unless okay. I didn't know it was December. <laughs> Which I never will. Right. Speaking of um, JRPGs, they were somewhat absent from a recent uh, major game press conference event thing. Um, Excuse me while I just change my background. Uh, There we (laughs) go. (laughs) He's got to get years. <laughs> my my giant PS5 bunny ears. Um, right, so I'm going to move on to when now. Now that people have stopped arguing with me with about the quiz, um, don't argue with me about the quiz. 
ever. Um, <laughs> or he'll just stop doing them, and that's no fun. That's true. <laughs> well, surely, Matt, you'd want me to. You'd want to start arguing about it. <laughs> so if you get another eight points behind, it's like screw this shit. Um, <laughs> right. Um, so there was a recent PlayStation Five event where we heard lots, loads, lots of games. Um, do we want to start tackling um, stuff in order, or do we want to talk about the giant white elephant in the room uh, first? Uh, well, I think that we <laughs> should. Let's, let's I think we should do overall overall impressions first. Like okay. What? What? Either what will we grade it, or how do we feel about it? Oh, I did that. Okay. Oh, you mean the the entire presentation? The entire presentation, yeah. Okay. Right, do you want to start then and then hand it over to the next person so we don't all shout out letters at the same time? We're using letters and numbers and we clarify all this. See how fucking annoying it is when people start second guessing what you do. <laughs> yeah. So um I'd never do such a thing. <laughs> my my overall impression was a B. I feel like they did better than Microsoft but not quite as well as I thought they were going to do. I mean, it wasn't hard, though, was it? <laughs> True. Yeah, just that last event. Um, so, oh, passing yeah. it to uh, Michael. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm giving them a B+. Uh, I'm, I'm subtracting from an S or whatever you want to uh, grade it for a perfect score, uh, only because, one, <clears throat> the, the GTA Five footage that was PS4, <laughs> PS4. Cause actually they started with PS3 trailers. That was insane. So not only were those uh, PS3 trailers, but they also were had compression artifacts. So that was a mess. Like how, how did they even dare to do that? So I was really disappointed about that. Second, uh, the entire stream was, I, I understand that, the, the, I understand the current circumstances. Uh, the whole stream was uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. I I believe there could have been like ways to go around that and actually render it in 4K. But that's okay. Um, it, it could have used more gameplay. Uh, we 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 did get enough gameplay, a lot a ton of gameplay on certain games. But uh, yeah, it, it was a great it was a great presser. But there's a ton of uh, of room for for improvement. But it was very enjoyable. It was it was paced correctly. I I, I liked it. Um, Liam, um, I think it was a solid B, just like Matt. Um, I thought um, one of the things I, I I agree with you about <laughs> GTA Five. It was quite funny because it's like every every like publisher needs to now like just think about what happens when they show that Rockstar logo <laughs> and how people are going to react like straight away. It's like, oh, Rockstar! Ah, oh, it's just GTA again. Uh, okay. Uh, it's like... always GTA 5. It's Especially GTA when 5. it's the very first thing you see in the event. It's a little a bit, you know, but I, I mean, I don't really mind or care, but I, I, I was happy with everything I was looking forward to. I thought it lacked surprises. Um... But everything that was there was um, very interesting to watch, and and I thought they really did sell the point that the next generation of consoles will offer dramatically better looking games. So, so I would say it was a success in that way. Who do you want to hand it off to? Um, I'll hand it over to Dan. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the order of the screen is on the in the last. Uh, I don't know. In the last, uh, since I've watched the original stream, I've watched a few other people's responses. I watched um, Jeff Keeley speaking to some of the developers of some of the games. Uh, so I was at a B minus after watching it, but I'm probably now at a B because a lot of the stuff that you couldn't really see on the screen, a lot of developers talked about, like with the con controller and the 3D audio. And I feel like after the massive push, push about that, they didn't really talk much about that in the actual pre conference. I know it's hard to kind of show that because of uh, um, because of the way they did delivered it. But the, the fact they said, oh, make sure you've got your headphones, they like made that, but then they didn't actually talk about the effect of the 3D audio, which I think was a missed opportunity. Um, also, the GTA 5 thing, I just think, man, cash, cash grab, and it just winds me up that Rockstar, like, every, like I did call it on the on our uh, 
Discord up before the say I said they're only going to show GTA 5 and they're going to say it's up uh, But I just find that's poor, really, from Rockstar. They're just basically going, oh, we've got all this money. Let's get some more money from the next generation. This game came out in PlayStation 3. Jesus Christ. And we're still talking about it. Uh, so that kind of upset me at the beginning of the show. Um, but yeah, I just think they didn't, and there wasn't enough gameplay. Like we all shat on Xbox for no gameplay, really. And there was a few instances where the games had gameplay, but a lot of it there wasn't. And I feel like that was a missed opportunity. And I realize the certain the Corona conditions could be a factor. However, it just seems like they were going to do this anyway because the way they laid it out, I think they were never doing a live uh, thingy. So it probably would have been very similar to this had they just released it in a direct fashion. So I think. Yeah, that was disappointing. So yeah, so B in the end, but uh, B minus after I first watched it. And who's it going oh, to? Oh, to Evan. Um, yeah, at first, I, I guess the idea of just seeing PlayStation 5 stuff wowed me to the effect that I thought like, oh, well, yeah, this is like a solid A. But once that kind of wears off and you start thinking about it, I, I did like the show overall, like as everyone said. And Actually, yeah, the first thing I thought was that that opening was like the curtains finally opened and then like something bad happened, like something knocked something over and it like kind of broke the illusion. And someone was like, oh, uh, and like walked off stage and then they had to reset and pull the curtain back up. You know, they throw in like anytime it's like receive one million in cash every month until the PS5 comes out on PlayStation <laughs> Plus. It's like, oh. Oh, you're going to start with a fucking ad? And like, <laughs> yeah. I just don't like... That is not the way to start a show. It's just... it Put that... I don't know where you put that, because there was nothing else like it in the show. But it's like, Rockstar is shaking hands with Sony. It's like, hey, why don't you remind people that we haven't made as much money? Like, when I jump off my diving board into my Scrooge McDuck coins, <laughs> it takes too long for me to hit the coins let's shave a second off that and like fill the coins up a bit more type of thing. So it's like, well, <laughs> Great in there. But, but whatever. Once the show started off proper, I did like how they, they were just like game, 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 game. And I also liked how they kind of, they cheated, but in a good way where it was like, okay, we're going to show you the cinematic version of our game. And then we're going to cut like a developer quickly talking about it, like two or three sentences and then cut to gameplay with the HUD and all that type of stuff. So they found like, they kind of cheated in a way, but I guess it worked. It was like the best of both worlds. Here's your cinematic thing. And then here's Hitman uh, in engine. Obviously this is how the game would be played. They did it with Ratchet and Clank as well. I like how they got around that, that um, problem that had plagued uh, Xbox. Also they had the advantage of watching what Xbox did and everyone throwing fucking tomatoes at Xbox like his Fozzy Bear or something. So they might have added that stuff in later. But uh, overall, um, other than the final thing that they showed, which brought it down by probably about a full point, um, I, I liked what they showed. I don't know what I want from the next gen. Like, I want to see new gameplay ideas or something. It's one of those things like when a movie ends, you're like, well, I didn't like the ending. And you're like, well... What would you have done? You're like, well, I don't know what I would have done. It's kind of like that. I, I don't know what something new I want, wanted to see. It was a bit more of the same. A lot of what they showed, I looked like they could run on a PlayStation 4. I don't know. I mean, my my stream was kind of shit, but I mean, lots of exciting games. So I, maybe about a B. I think I'm in the same boat as everyone else. Um, Matt. Well, I'm going right? to pass it back to Keith because he hasn't answered okay. yet. Oh yeah, everyone just forgets about me. <laughs> the quiz is done. Fuck off, mate. <laughs> um, right, so because we're on the internet and the internet is only about massive overreactions, right, so start. I'll, I'll take you through my, my emotions. So started off, um, thought, okay, what we've got on, going on here is GTA. Oh, fucking hell, this is going to be GTA 5 again, isn't it? This is going to re-release for the PlayStation 6 at this rate, D. Um, and then all the way up potentially to a B plus, A minus. And then they showed this monstrosity that looks like a, a table fan um, and no price. So overall, C plus. Oh, wow. 
You don't like the so uh, you don't, like the, sharper, really the you don't like the sharper image design of the console. So, and have you seen the size comparisons that people oh have done God, online? It's fucking yeah. massive. Yeah, cut yourself in that. We we called we called the people are coming to renovate. They're widening in our door. Uh, I think they come. <laughs> we got they're they're booked because Japan's going nuts over this. So I think we might be able to slide in, uh, being able to wedge that thing in. Uh, in about October, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, so huge. what what floor of that apartment building are you on, Evan? Sixth floor. Okay, so you, they, they may even have to like take the windows out and crane it in to your your living room. I've I, that happened to a friend when he built his house. They had to crane something in because the <laughs> um, the uh, staircase up to the second floor was was too narrow for whatever they were. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm being out. I'm being a bit harsh. Um, I'd I'd say a solid B. I can't go any higher than that. Some of the games are quite interesting, but some of the stuff just really dragged me down. Um, and uh, give me a goddamn price. Yes. Don't show me this and then carry on your... They they said they wouldn't show a price. Yeah, I know they the said price. Xbox give a price? It, it, Matt, it happened last time. They never showed the prices last time until August. I, I didn't expect a price. Matt, you seem the... I think you're the most pissed about this. I want to hear your 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 quick rant about this i mean i'm i'm just pissed about it because we should know by now how much mm. these things are going to cost like they they, to, they clearly know they have time to budget for it like you're not going to well that, that was the tweet that i made was like you know guys i need to figure out especially with everything going on like if i'm going to buy your product i need to figure out how the fuck i'm going to save the money by the end of the year <laughs> Like, I mean, you if, know, I, if it launches in November and you want I, to, make I think I was more upset they didn't actually put a release date. I think I'd have preferved that to the price because I know they're not going to hold they're holding the price because I don't want to give Xbox time to cut them. That's what it comes down to. I mean, that's, 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 that's fair. Xbox yeah. don't need to undercut them. All Xbox need to do is wait for them to announce the price and then say, "Here's um, oh Christ, I can't remember the name of the pay monthly scheme." Yeah, they, true. Well, yeah, that's... so you can pay. You yeah. pay twenty five twenty five ninety nine a month. That's in pounds, I think. Um, twenty nine ninety nine dollars a month, and you get a Series X, a year's worth of um, Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate. You can upload and you can upgrade as well, can't you? Or is that and, the, yeah. the, with that with the yeah. new yeah. gen? That's yeah. with the new. And that's and that's with the upgrade. You get an upgrade as soon as the Series X comes out. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I I haven't bought any games for my Xbox because everything's that I'm playing is on Game Pass, and they keep adding new shit. Mm. You know. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, maybe they, they they are going to do something similar. Like they they are quite unpredictable. They they just uh, show the discless version. Maybe they have like similar I don't know purchasing options. Maybe they are aware this is a much more convenient way to. Quite maybe uh, they will also reveal that the PS Plus uh, now is going to suffer some changes for the better, and uh, yeah, it will all be included under one monthly price until we pay off the console. Um, mm. One question, one question I had because Sony said that because of um, manufacturing processes and material shortages as a result of COVID nineteen, there's only going to be five million of these. So is it going to be seven? Seven. Seven? No, no, right, five. So is it gonna... it's five million. Is it? oh. I thought it was five. Oh, I thought it was seven. So okay. five, five, five million worldwide. So is it going to be two and a half million of the slimline digital only ones and two and a half million of the fat boys um, disk drive version? Very likely. Because that's not a lot. That's not going to satiate. Well, um, it is. Um, like, they had six, hundred, um, six million PlayStation 4s at launch and um, they all sold they out. They sold out straight away. Yeah, I mean, um, just preferably, this is going to be a more expensive item than the PlayStation mm -hmm. 4, which automatically means that there's going to be slightly less interest in it, especially since we're going into economic recession. But, uh, so I think That's 5 true. million units is fine until March. And if they really wanted to, they could push out more units by the end of the fiscal my, year. My prediction on the pricing is that the, the, the discless version is going to cost 500 units and the the disc version is going to cost 600 i don't think they i don't think they want to put out a version that's 400 i think it's going to be five and four and i think they're just going to take the hit on the cost 
I think they're going to absorb the hit um, oh, on manufacturing cost. There's no way they could I'd... charge 600. Well, I don't think they, if they, oh, if uh, they've learned anything from different. the PlayStation 3, I don't know any chance. And I think that's why they're holding I, off on it. I know that, but this because time they want to be within again, those the price of them. cost a lot. They really um, cost a lot. No, I know it costs a lot. You guys Rafa, a what I'm saying is, I think PlayStation Sony know that, but they're going to take the financial hit on it. Hopefully, I don't, um, I, I don't I, think I would they're like... going to charge 400 because that's the I'm cost not. of a PS4 Pro right now. Well, um, it, it, it already PS4, leaked. For a PS4 Pro, Liam, go for it. It. just drop everything. Yeah, it, it already leaked that um, it actually costs 460 um, dollars to manufacture the PlayStation 4. It sort of, sort of leaked. Yeah, that from... was in the Bloomberg report, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, so basically, uh, systems are normally known for taking a small hit in terms of profit, like at launch. Um, so the, the least you're going to see it for is 450, but it's definitely not going to be 600. Like, I mean, Sony said last year that, that it was going to launch for an affordable price. Um, I'm pretty sure after PlayStation yeah, but 3, any they price went is affordable. 600. It just depends on how much you earn. <laughs> yeah. So, well, but they, they well, said affordable relative to how the PlayStation 4 launched. Sorry, I'll take yeah. out okay. a second Context. mortgage on my yeah. house. But as I said, I think that what they want to do is kind of the same. They want to they want to cut this, uh, play Xbox legs out from beneath them like they did last time. Let Xbox um, release and then and then cut the price by fifty or a hundred dollars because that is the real reason. I know you say it's games, but it was price as well of why people uh, went PlayStation Four first. Because the, the PlayStation Four was already a hundred dollars uh, cheaper because Xbox was bundled with Connect. So yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. So, um, let's, let's, we... not re- let's not retread that that discussion and let's talk about <laughs> some games. Cool. Wait, can um, can we quickly talk about how horrible that system looks? Uh, PlayStation oh, I like 5. It. The Wii, Sorry, the Wii cosplaying like the as, as Batman. PS, PS5 looks straight up like the default free router you get from your ISP in 2003. I'm glad my router developed the confidence to pop its collar. Uh, PS5, complete broadband router that came with your TV package, Vive. Uh, it looks like it belongs in an, a, a fake uh, a Star Trek movie with its sleek <laughs> iPod fucking lens flare that actually doesn't exist and never got out because the, the movies ended up sucking after the, the third one. Um, <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I had to get the. I I fucking hate. I think it's absolutely hideous. I fucking. Oh, I love it. it. I love everything about it. Oh, I love the white. I love the black. I love the. It looks like you shoved a router in a fucking trapper keeper. But he's gonna (laughs) buy it anyway. Yeah, Yeah. I absolutely love it. I love everything about that console. I love love what it'll look like when it's laid flat. Ah, it's gonna. I'm really excited. It's not gonna lay flat. Tell you that. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. They've shown. They have shown pictures of it. It does lay flat. flat. The official PlayStation. It's on. It's on a a stand. Yeah. Yeah. It It looks like a Dyson product. So. (laughs) It looks like a tabletop. It looks like a fucking (laughs) desktop. When someone comes into your house, it's a tension grab. Like, what the hell is that? Exactly. Yeah, it is a tension grab. Like, what the fuck is that? You know, like, wow. If you if you hung it upside down from a wall and then you turned it on <laughs> after washing your hands after just going to the toilet. <laughs> it, it looks like a Dyson head. That's true. The air dryer. Hand dryer. Hand dryer. Actually, <laughs> you're right because it will be all the ventilation going out of it. So yep. you can actually your hands. What I'm going to do is dry your hands on it with a fan. My, enterta- oh, my entertainment oh. center, I'm going to push it out um, the width of a normal fridge and then hide it behind. I like how... Xbox made or Microsoft made their system look like a fridge, and then Sony made their system as big as one. So I don't know how I'm gonna fucking hide this thing. I mean, I well, okay, whatever. Run, it doesn't really matter how it looks because, but it's so loud. Like you can't hide that thing, and it's I don't really hide big. It. I want everyone to know I have a PlayStation Five. Yeah. No one's gonna come to your house if you put that thing um, in your fucking entertainment center. Because now oh, it's I mean, difficult to I really tell like which it. iPhone people have. I like the look of it. I like the white. I, well, I got a PlayStation Four white console, you know? my first console. I love that, so I'm really happy. My PlayStation Three is white. And then I regretted it years later after it started like changing color. So, but what yeah, I would say is, what I would say is, I think there'll be a black one as well because they showed who's a black Martin, controller. Who's be Martin a black, all black one. Booze. Because someone's just sent us a tweet saying they agree with Dan. The console looks great. <laughs> right, we got, I'm pretty sure. Right, we got, we got, we got, sure we got, we're not the followers. That's good. Oh, Mr. Bussy. Oh, he's my. Uh, he's one of my uh, colleagues. He's the one who follows us and what listens to us. Oh, I just he's to listen just to us to live. Help out a friend. So he obviously is. All right, Martin, hope you're enjoying it. Today. I, I, I won't say, I, I said my piece. I think it's fucking horrible, but we can move on to You can join right. us in the I chat on twitch.tv yeah. if you would like. Um, 
Right. Um, so, has anyone got any games that they would like to highlight as being standouts, or do we just? I, I don't want to run through all of them because there's. Yeah, I know. I've got to have should, dinner. We should uh, do it one by one, like the same we did with the overall impression of the event. I I think we should, and I, even if we were to skip the game because we don't, none of us are interested in it. But yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, so yeah, let's run down the no, list. Notable, no, notable mentions, and then a notable or a dishonorable mention. Do you know, right? Yeah. We'll, Matt, do you want to do you want to kick us off? Um, notable mention: Spider Man Miles Morales. That's the uh, the background for the show this today. Um, oh, sweet! I haven't checked that out yet. And then not uh, not a full game though. They've come out and clarified this is going to be a, a shorter. Well, I've heard version. mixed. I've heard mixed uh, reports. One, like some, a, some like a PlayStation are saying, executive misspoke. And then they had said that it is a standalone game. It's just slightly shorter than maybe. Yeah, some people like, are saying uh, it's Lost like Legacy. Lost Legacy. Okay, some yeah. people are saying it's going to come packaged with so a re-release. So is it like Lost Legacy in that we've got a, a black character, but they're going to be voiced, voiced by a white person? I didn't catch that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. No, isn't it? The, it's the actor who does all the... It's the actor who's done all of the uh, uh, Miles Morales stuff. I've heard. I thought. I thought I read. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's the guy who's done the, the, the Spider Man series, and, that kind of and stuff. yeah, he's a very good voice actor. Very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, actor. Okay, um, uh, Matt, I would have, I would have had to have kicked you off your own comic book podcast if you hadn't <laughs> said Spider Man was around. <laughs> um so it looks cool um yeah notable mention miles is cool because he has a totally different power set from peter parker um, oh does he uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't he, he, can, he can turn invisible he can make himself invisible he, he, he can, can shoot electricity. Uh, electricity as a venom blast um so there's like a lot of cool things that you can do with that character oh that that's cool yeah. i i like that it'll be it'll be slightly different um like play. fighting mechanic stuff. So, right. All right, that's cool. Just, um, has anybody here seen uh, Into the Spider Verse? Oh yeah, um, yes, yeah. It's, it's the I, best I'm, Spider-Man movie. It's yeah, so yeah, good, so amazing. I have, I have I'm not just, seen it yet. I feel bad. I'm, I'm just hoping oh, that they do. integrate they, like, the a, art and a similar scene. soundtrack that that movie had. In I just want to be swinging through the city with like those freaking awesome tunes beating. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, was I think that, that would um, be awesome? Every was single second. Well, so do you think the, the next game after this is going to be Spider Gwen, and the one after that is going to be um, um, Spider Pig, <laughs> um, and Aunt May, and <laughs> Peter Parker? <Yeah. laughs> um, by the way, if if that if if that was Kid Cudi, and I'm pretty sure it was on the soundtrack, the the get this the song that they play, then shout out to that because I like I like Kid Cudi. No, it was, Tre- it was Trevor Scott. Are you serious? Who? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's kidding. <laughs> I was going to... Yeah. Do uh, I like Trevor Scott? Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, passing it along, uh, Michael. No, so you've got... Um, you can t- just quickly... An- another game that you like the look of and then a dishonorable mention. Um... I don't really have any others. Uh, there's a couple that I was like, eh, whatever, mediocre on. I didn't understand the Capcom one that they released... I, I think I said that it Pragmata. was... Pragmata. Pragmata, yeah. yeah. Pragmata. I, I think it's I like, said what, that it's the most Kojima-ass, non-Kojima game that I've ever seen. Oh, yes. I, I've, I, I, I've got something to say about that game. Go um, for it. A, after the event, they put out an extended version of it. And I, I was like, I thought the original trailer was very confusing because you know how it starts off on Earth and then they end up in space and then they end up on the moon and then they're <laughs> like, ah, we've got to go there, to home. It's like, you were just there. Well, right. In the extended yeah, and, and, trailer, it's like really yeah. weird. But in the extended trailer, it shows that they weren't actually on Earth; they were inside the moon, and they busted oh. out of the surface of the moon. So they're looking down at Earth, which is oh. and it's it's like, why did you shorten it? Like it completely fucks with the context of the whole thing. That was, yeah, that that was terrible yeah. editing. Like, some, like virtual reality in the moon, and now you're yeah. looking at the Earth. Uh, yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, or something right. like that. Yeah. Thank you very much, Liam. I didn't know. I'm going to go and find that trailer and watch it now. Yeah, me too. I was, yeah, yeah. I was thanks, hugely thanks confused. Same, um, so was I. It's weird. Right, Matt, who do you want to throw it to? I'll throw it to Michael. Uh, right. Uh, I'll make it quick because uh, there's uh, there's a few games I want to go through. First of all, of course, uh, GTA V. I am the problem. I am part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I will buy it again. I will definitely buy it again. Um, I'm, I, at least I'm being honest. 
sure. the reason I downgraded the, the score for the event was because they, they teased me like that because for days I've been I've been tweeting about it uh, I've been tweeting about the prospect of Rockstar being present and for the event to start out like that like I got major goosebumps I started sweating like I was like holy shit um, I am really disappointed they, they didn't show anything new but uh, for me, uh, it's, it's, it's great they're offering so much money on the PS4 version. I just went back. Bad Rockstar, but, uh, they are not offering, uh, they haven't offered a PS4 Pro patch. That game runs at 25 frames per second. It's, it's trash, but <laughs> I'm getting a lot of money on it in GTA Online. Oh, have we lost Until Michael. 2021, 20, oh, so yeah, that's, that that's great. Hacking, so that Michael's... was one thing. Um, so how dare you say that he runs yeah, that, that, that was an app right here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because the, the, the Rockstar levels in this, uh, in this uh, episode are quite low, so uh, they used me to bring them back. Um, what was it? Um, what I liked a lot was um, Ken Up, Bridge of Spirits, and uh, that did look good. Devil Inside. Those I, the, I found those to be quite unique. Uh, Evan previously made a point that not a lot of things looked like they would only work on ps5 and that's true i think the 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 game that showcased that the best was actually ratchet and clank with all the teleportation because i i reckon they would because uh, that was in real time and they you need a fast ssd to load those worlds fast like that right. um yeah and um Something, of course, I, I'm excited about the uh, big exclusive like uh, Spider Man, uh, Miles Morales, and Horizon um, Forbidden West, but those are quite safe uh, nominalizations. Sure. 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 What I was disappointed about, however, was um, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, I, I expected mm. something else. May, I, I, maybe third, we will be third a great person? game. Yeah, and mm -hmm. not as stylized. Not as um, stylized as it was. Know, head, headless dancing Japanese schoolgirls were, were a bit freaky. Mm -hmm. But then, then it yeah. kind of turned into this first-person magic shooter thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you I mean, yeah. I, I have never it's... seen uh, jutsu signs uh, in first person, so I thought at least that was cool, <laughs> like the hand signs and doing all those... Uh, spells that that was cool but uh maybe maybe i just need to find out a bit more about the gameplay but i was like ah really uh that that was my only down moment from the from the event i think it looks michael, i think it looks cool um um do you feel the same way michael like um i remember that trailer from e3 last year that was like so sort of like moody it like set this like yeah. really awesome atmosphere up that was a just great like, trailer. Yeah. It's so spooky and awesome. And the, the, the game, like from that trailer, is nothing like that trailer. Yeah, yeah. Like, at all. That's how and I that really it. threw nothing. me off. Yeah. Yeah. Like something yeah. really atmospheric, something really serious and the... a bit a bit slower than this fast paced action shit that's going on. That's right. a good point. Yeah. It is quite different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, apparently, because uh, someone pointed out, I, I was uh, watching the reaction to it, but I wasn't really looking at the screen. And, and after the the, the showing end, it was like I, I uh, someone said, I really like the fact that you can <laughs> go on a motorcycle and just drag <laughs> drag someone with it. So that's that's maybe a fun thing to do in first person. I've never done that in a game before, like being in first person on a motorcycle and just dragging an enemy <laughs> with me. So yeah, uh, we'll we'll have to find out more. But uh, again, uh, I was I was excited about that game because not many games are set in that uh, in that location, at least not yeah. like that. And uh, uh, it, it was after all in first person. So yeah. Uh, mm, anything else? Uh, Sackboy, <laughs> yeah, that 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 was a, a nice surprise. Uh, maybe this like I'm I'm excited for this because it's uh, um, I I think it has the potential to be way more focused than regular little big planet games. Given that I don't think it will have a cost like a a, a mode where you create these levels. Mm. So, maybe not, yeah. Who knows? Maybe, maybe you, uh, someone pointed out, maybe you're going to have a hub that you can customize to that extent, but not make actual levels. So I'm, I'm curious looked, to see. It looked like a platformer. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Sony doesn't Batman really Batman. have like, of course, it has Astro Bot, but that's only recent. So I'm I'm glad to see they are doing things on uh, in in this genre because they they really need to uh, fill this gap with the platformers. Um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, pass it over to Liam. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, All right, one, Liam, one. I'm going to the bathroom, but I'm listening, okay? I'll be sure, okay. sure. Sorry. <laughs> well, anybody that knows me um, will know that my number one pick is like, just immediately Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I think, like, it did one look thing... so pretty, though, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, it looks... um, it, um, I watched the Digital Foundry video, and it is running in true 4K, they confirmed. Yeah. Uh, they did the pixel count uh, last night or whenever it was a few nights ago. Well, one thing for me, because um, like as far as I go, like I haven't had a proper Ratchet and Clank game since two thousand nine. Uh, I've been waiting a long time for this. I thought the remake was a uh, not very good game. People love it, but I don't. I think it's terrible. I think it um, rewrites the history of the original game, which is vastly better. Um, and as soon as the trailer opened, I knew exactly what it was. Like, like people that haven't played the games, I guess, wouldn't recognize. It's like, oh, it's the dinosaurs from the Solana Galaxy. It's like, it's a new Ratchet and Clank, and it isn't a sequel to the reboot. Thank God. Thank God. Um, and yeah, it just included everything I like. New weapons, because they have this problem where they always uh, recycle the same weapons from past games over and over again. And it gets really annoying. You know, it's just like, come on, it's a ra new Ratchet and Clank game. Give me new, awesome, and interesting weapons. <laughs> and yeah, like the whole like skipping through dimensions stuff was freaking awesome. <laughs> like, I, I see that game and I'm like, okay, you could only do that on a PlayStation 5. Right. You have me sold. Like, it looks like a Pixar film. What more can I say? Like, it, it's, it, 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 for me, like, if, if I was less of a nerd and I didn't want to spend my money on a PlayStation 5 system, but for someone like me, that's like, oh, this game is one, enough for me to just buy it at launch. And then I guess honorable mention to um, Little Devil Inside. I think that game looks awesome. Looks cool, yeah. <laughs> I love how charming it is. It has a sort of very... I wonder if it's made by Brits, because I, I thought the humour was very British. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And I, I don't um, know what it is. Apparently, it's an RPG. Well, it looks like you Great. play as you play as characters living inside a human body. I think that's the idea. So you're inside the person's body, and then that you know that old guy who's pooing and stuff. That's that is the, the real world representation <laughs> of what he's doing. That's oh, that. There's a few things I read that said that, and I was like, wow, that would be really that's weird. That's the case. Interesting. Uh, uh, yeah. Get that from the trailer. That's obviously not confirmed. That's just one, two, or three people I've read were talking about. That's what it could. But I haven't heard the developers, so I don't know for sure. But that was what they were saying, and that's why you're the old geezer, and then like those weird world level sets. So mm. interesting. Mm. That is the case. <laughs> so you're the little right. devils inside his body, basically. I feel like you've turned me up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and also, they, they toilet, right. that toilet Anything... in that was uh, in true 4K. <laughs> we pooed on the toilet. <laughs> was that through, was the plop 3D audio though? Um... Oh man, I can't wait to get yeah. my 3D or audio PlayStation. Yeah. Don't forget about sensing the controller when the... <laughs> <laughs> you'll feel it. <laughs> you'll oh, get gonna wet. The, <laughs> that's going to be the new mechanic in whatever new South Park game comes out, isn't it? Have oh, to no. feedback. Um, from the past. Right, Liam. Anything <laughs> that didn't didn't tickle your fancy? Um, to be honest, no. But I, I would say ah, okay. Um, two things. Well, two different trailers. Fucking terrible music. Like, just quit it. Like, why do you put this awful music in front of your trailers? Like, what the fuck does hip hop have to do with Godfall? Like, yeah, that was right. that was a what? terrible so, choice. Don't be surprised oh, if if they got a freaking phone call from Randy Pitchford. Go, you know what would make this trailer better? Some fucking hip hop music, you know? Yeah. It's like <laughs> let's this, make it, it like Borderlands. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, just, it, made, it, it was really didn't fit the tone, did it? It did not it's fit the tone at all. No, it, yeah. it, it just it, it, I deflated my <laughs> interest. It, it's Borderlands, but not that. They they should have a totally different tone with that one. Yeah. Big orchestral oh, school. Right, Liam, who are you throwing it to? I'll throw it to Dan. Uh, my big, well, a few of you mentioned the other ones I'm excited about, but the one game that hasn't been mentioned that I was very excited about was Kenna uh, Bridge of Spirits. Uh, that's been yeah. made by Ember Lab, team of 15 guys. 
uh, which I was quite impressed by. They have they're obviously more a film related and stuff. So they did the fan film, Majora's Mask fan film. So Ooh. I can kind of see some of that. Uh, oh, that was them. Okay, I yeah. didn't know that. Um, so, but they wanted to get into the gaming thing. So they've been making this for three years for PlayStation Four and PlayStation Five. But uh, in the they did a conversation with Jeff Keeley after the event, which I watched, and they were saying that the the reason why they're loving PlayStation Five is. Uh, they can actually make the game they like really want to make. So those little black things, uh, they literally can, they're almost at one-to-one. So everyone you discover joins your team. And they said that will be one of the downgrades of PlayStation 4, whereas it won't be so much like that because they can't have that many assets on screen. So I was quite excited about that. It is going to be an Epic Game Store as well because it is running a new uh, UE4, I think, on version 4, because obviously when they started yeah. making it, but yeah, I really like the idea. I was always a massive Pikmin fan, and I've been waiting for way too long for Nintendo to give me a Pikmin game. So if I can play it, I'm I know Lee, I know Liam's, in. Liam's in that boat as well. I think. Yeah. Uh, I and feel, the fact I it's coming out. Went too and long. the fact it's coming out holiday 2020, along with all the other things that are coming out 2020, it makes that was what I was like. Yeah, I'm buying this console at launch, which is weird because you maybe it wouldn't be potentially the game that I would have thought would have made want to buy the console, but that definitely pushed me over the edge. I think. Um, honorable mention while well, Horizon I loved Horizon Zero Dawn probably one of my favourite PlayStation 4 games uh, so yeah. just to get a sequel on that disappointed with no release date that was that was a bit disappointing but that's way off like, it's, but, it says yeah, yeah I was, I, I was, I'm sad it's way off I was hoping it would be a lot quicker, sooner so that kind of was disappointing well, that would um, be disappointing I, I, I'm not so sure but, they didn't give but the way they said we'll anything. see more things soon I don't know whether they're going to they're delaying the release date because of what's happening with coronavirus and they don't know when they're... So we'll have to wait and see what comes in the future. But yeah, that would be my honourable mention. The underwater scenes on that yeah. look incredible. And just like this sparsity of things in under, underwater. And, it's uh, an the, extra, the extra, digital, extra danger, right? Because you're, you're digital not... Digital Foundry um, guys were saying yeah. that they it looked like it was obviously cinematic, but running on in-engine. So that's really cool. Um, so, yeah, if they can yeah. get the whole game looking as close to that as they possibly can, it's going to be an a, a extremely beautiful game. Yeah, yeah. so I'm excited Perfect. about that. Uh, what I wasn't very really impressed with was, uh, no one's mentioned it, is Bug Snacks. Like, I get you trying to <laughs> maybe say it to people with kids, but I was just like, yeah, why the hell is this in this press conference? Like, I thought there was that another really game stupid in that... a fun way, though. <laughs> yeah. You are what another... you eat. So the mayor's <laughs> yeah, eating yeah. burgers and he turned into a burger. <laughs> burger, I know. I get the humour, but there was another ga- other games that obviously like Jeff Keighley did after his thing with like PlayStation exclusive games that they announced their games then. And it just seemed like this that game didn't need to be in this conference. I just was just like, why is this here? Um, also, a thing I was going to mention was it was interesting because he also interviewed the Hitman 3 guys and they were very shady about saying anything specific to PlayStation 5. All the other developers yeah. talked about the haptic feedback and how they integrate it into their game, which sounded really cool. Even the Godfall guy was like, we've literally mapped every single weapon when it hits another weapon to feel differently. So whether that actually they actually managed to do that, I don't know, but that sounded really cool. Um, and um, with the 3D audio as well, being able to hear people stepping up behind you. And if you get hit on your side, being able to hear the swoosh before you get hit and so if you can't see them on the screen. So all of that sound stuff with 3D audio sounded really cool, which obviously was missed out of the presentation which I thought was quite sad, really. And I think this is stuff we would have normally got, uh, normally three, where people would have been on the show floor, played the games, and we would then would have got this report, which I think they were obviously missing this year because they're not there and there's obviously no E3. Um, so, yeah, really. But, yeah, my biggest disappointment was the Buds next thing. Yeah, it's cute and funny, but I didn't think it needed to be in the uh, presentation. I honestly thought it was a joke. I didn't think that it was a real game. I thought it was like... Uh... <laughs> Like a, like a joke for another game that they were going to pitch. And then it, right. and then, it, then they actually like, yeah, this is bug sacks and it ends. I was like, oh, that was a, that was a real trailer. Like that was a real game. Okay. Dude, that what game looks like, into, it's like eight, a PS1. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody like do that sort of like, what the fuck is this? And then it comes up from the creators of, Octodad, and you're like, oh, yeah. 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 That's, exa- that's exactly what I think everyone did, yeah, <laughs> totally. So, Evan, what did you think? Um, Highlight of the show for me is uh, Deathloop. Uh, yeah, but I, you love yourself I, some Dishonored, don't you? I, Arcane has done me no wrong. I don't know. I mean, I, I watched the no clip stuff from their previous work, but I've known Arcane... Uh, from Dishonored 1 onwards. 
and they've just never let me down. It's like Denis uh, Villeneuve, the director. Uh, he's never made a bad film, and in it, from what I played, they've never made a bad game. Dishonored One is great. The DLC is amazing. Prey is amazing. Dishonored Two is amazing. Dishonored Two's DLC is amazing. I don't, I don't and, mean to um, kill your hype, Evan, but you do realize that it has uh, multiplayer elements. People can invade your. I was game. just about to say that. <laughs> that luckily, luckily, I listened to a podcast that's totally optional. You oh, can nice. either, okay. You can either choose to have a player play as the other uh, assassin to invade your game, or have that assassin be uh, a- AI. Which made nice. me very, very happy because I was slightly worried. Yeah, which means nice about before it, I heard that. Is, which means we all have Bethesda, to buy it and we all have to invade Evan's games. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the only good thing about it is even though it's from Bethesda, it is exclusive to PlayStation 5. There will be a PC launch, but to my knowledge, it's coming oh, really? first on PlayStation 5 and only PlayStation uh, 5. Uh, only for the first year. Yeah. Oh, they they said they're not released. They, what they have said is that they weren't releasing to other consoles. So it'll be on yeah, PC, but not time. on anything else. Yeah. One one thing I do like on, is yeah. they've re- they've realized that the blink ability is like one of the best abilities that has ever been thought of in a game in the last decade. And they're like, oh, who gives a shit if they know it's from Dishonored? We're gonna <laughs> use this again because because of course you should. The blink ability is absolutely amazing. And one thing I like about Arcane is they build these worlds that are wide enough to as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they build these worlds that are like wide enough to where it feels like a, a, a full world, but then they add verticality to that world with options. And then they give you really, really interesting tools to traverse that area and poke and prod and explore and also have fun with killing people. Uh, so just. Well, this is, mean, this is the one game where you don't have to feel bad about killing people. And because you're right the whole about point. that. Yeah, right. It's like Dishonored. And I think I, I did listen to a podcast where they had brought up the idea where like Dishonored's like, you have all these tools and go ahead and kill people in interesting ways. But wait, you're not supposed to do that because it's yeah, going to make you feel bad for it. getting caught. I, I, I get where you're coming from. And I, I, I do. Just, yeah, go ahead. I, go I, ahead I was Ian. just saying that. And um, it's like you say how much fun it is to kill people. Like half the yeah. charm of the Dishonored games is figuring out how not to kill people. That That is actually very true. Yeah. So it, actually, it's, yeah, it's both, like really both of you bring up a figure out how not to kill people in that game. So maybe they're like, well, wait a minute. Let's take that out of it. You're supposed to kill people now. And yeah, you're one an, of the you're other an powers, assassin. Yeah. You're an assassin that doesn't kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like the game kind of falls apart at the beginning of the concept, right? You flip your shotgun, just like Arnold does in Terminator 2 when it comes out of the boxes of roses. You flip it around your finger and shoot. Amazing. There's another power. It looks like you sw- It's like you swipe, like you're using a... You just like swipe up and a guy flies in the air. You swipe right and he flies through the glass. I love it. It's it, they're really, really good at thinking of interesting powers. Like in Prey, you had that gun that shot like installation, or in installation. That's what it's like when I said drought instead of draft, insulation, and you could like make your own ladders up to places and get places where you you might need a key card for an elevator, but you could like traverse the world. Or how to clip out the wall so you can do a speed run. There you go. Yeah, exactly. So um, I just they've never let me down, and I'm just looking forward to. Um, all the fun you can have with all those powers and like liam and mcwombo said like yeah not feeling bad about using the powers because this game is not about stealth so that's my highlight um honorable mention is uh bug snacks i'm just kidding uh, <laughs> slight s- slight note i watched like eight reaction videos and i just love the best reactions come from bug snacks because like what the <laughs> fuck is this game about not only that I got so into it, starting from this morning oh, to my significant other. I just started saying, I was like, hey, Nanako. She's like, what? I was like, it's bug snacks. And it got to the point where she's like, what the fuck do you mean? What is bug snacks? I'm like, "It's <laughs> that's what it is. It's bug snacks. To the point, she actually stopped talking to me for about a good hour because I wouldn't <laughs> tell her what bug snacks is. I'm not even kidding. And I still haven't told her, but she said, D- you promised to tell me what bug snacks is after the podcast because i still haven't told her what bug snacks is i just kept saying it absolutely show annoying. the video show the launch trailer yeah, yeah. At, at, at this at this point she doesn't know what it is she doesn't know if it's a game i just kept saying it Why i just kept saying bug snacks she's like what That's do you so mean funny. bugs nest i was like no it's bug snacks what does that mean <laughs> it, it, it means bug snacks she, yeah 
Absolutely annoying person. <laughs> cool. um, Tune in next see. week when Evan is single. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let me tell you, I do not want to go through that again. I'll tell you that much. Um, so Deathloop is number one. Um, I, okay, so I'm a huge Ratchet and Clank fan. I came onto this series uh, way late, and I un- ended up going back and playing all these games. So um, Liam talked about that. So I'm going to highlight a game that uh, no one's talked about yet is Solder Ash. And that is specifically mm. because Hi- uh, Hyperlight Drifter is one of the f- my favorite games of like the last oh, okay. decade. Okay. It, it's absolutely like I remember seeing that game and thinking, I'm going to buy this game. And then it came out. I didn't purchase it for like two years, bought it on sale, started playing it immediately. I'm like, okay, I'm so sorry I didn't play this earlier. It's 3D, so this developer is entering. I think Alex Preston is the main guy that has that made Hyperlight Drifter, uncharted territory. But um, yeah, it's just it's it's the person that made uh, Hyperlight Drifter. I'm sure it's a team now. It, so I'm looking it, forward to seeing what that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Matt. It looks like they've replicated the mechanics almost seamlessly which is crazy i hope it's as like Like deliberate the the agility that you get from the the 2d character seems like that has translated like the quick dashes the deliberate swipes yeah uh is uh this the developer who was uh diagnosed with uh with like his um I'll buy you another one. He has like this uh, uncurable disease. Like he knows he doesn't have much to leave. I have no idea. Is he no, I did. That's true. It makes I feel like now. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll just have a look. Because I know I, I was listening uh, a design podcast and he was invited. Uh, it was about like how, where do you find power to create and move on in, when you're in such a situation? And he talks about it. And the, the reason I, I, I think it was Hyperlight Drifter is... Oh, it's heart disease. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah. It was heart disease. Right. And so, uh, he's, got conge- he's got congenital heart disease. So he was born with it. So, um, right. and he was, he's was he been hospitalized with digestive and immune system issues as well with his, with yeah. with his condition. So I think okay. he's saying so, that, yeah, he, what Arafa was saying, it inspired yeah. him. To- so I'm really, like, when I've seen that, I was like great for him he he's making he gets to make a new game like he's moving on not, not, that's 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 terrific so yeah that's awesome yeah cool. that is, that's that is okay and evan the, the appropriate response to the question that you've been asked by your fiance is it's bug snacks <laughs> oh i have to show you bug snacks you know bug snacks He's gonna, he's gonna get <laughs> she's, 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 she's not having it. Actually, that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have brought it up. I'm, I'm just um, I'm we don't want Evan to, to be dumped. The fridge door into you. We don't want Evan to be dumped. I, I actually, I, I, apparently, this uh, Ebisu the Hop was supposed to be for her, and I stole it, so she's not happy. She also doesn't oh. want it. It's bug snacks. <laughs> Stop it. They, 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 can't, they can't see the domestic. Hop. They didn't see me kick me. Um, most disappointing is Stray because actually this, this whole thing might be disappointing because there are two games with cats in it and zero dogs. And, uh, I think, uh, I, I hate, I hate cats. I've always hated cats. You'll Uh never convince me otherwise. I'm allergic to them as well. So even Jesus, uh, Jesus, our Lord 2020 is telling me that you shouldn't be anywhere near one. Um, genuinely, genuinely worried. I'll buy, I'll buy you. I'll buy you ten tomorrow out of my own wallet to shut you up. Yes, <laughs> I'll 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 travel to the ends of the earth to find tomorrow. I'll spend my entire Saturday finding Sunday. 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 Then be quiet. <laughs> it's a, it, it's a bug snacks. <laughs> it's bug snacks. Bug snacks. It's bug snacks. Bug snacks. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, fucking cats, man! Like you, you gotta, you gotta show me a dog. You gotta show me a dog. Yeah, uh, I, I'm sick I of hate cats. cats too, Evan. I'm with you. I'm I with hate you dogs. You're all going way. to have uh, plenty of dogs in The Last of Us too, so yeah. my you Chicago... can even get to kill him. Kill them. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. My my apartment in Chicago. My girlfriend had One two cats. Today. They ripped the shit on my new couch. I went to my brother's I'll house. All his cat does did was try to bite me and sit in the couch and do nothing. Um, yeah. Uh, not 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 happy about Stray. 
But uh, yeah, so those are mine. Uh, McWamble, how about yourself? Right, so I'm, I'm not going to retread anything too much. I did really like the look of Kina or Ken Kenna, however you want to pronounce that. Um, I did I did like the look of Stray. I don't like cats. Um, I know they're all trying to take over the world and kill us all, but yeah. I did like the look of that. So is, what it actually is, is a redemption story about the cats that killed off all the humans. <laughs> and this one's realized right. that it can't it might be bringing me around from robots that you can from humans. So it's, it's going around lamenting the fact that there's no humans anymore. Um, <laughs> um, I did like the look of Returnal. Again, it's, yeah. it's, a, um, it's a bit like there's some kind of death loop. I oh, get it. Um, in there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I quite like the look of that. You saw, saw some yeah, gameplay for that. Yeah, visually, like I liked some of the weird stuff they showed. It's like this giant orb floating over a hole, and these weird things look like scarecrows, like attached to trees. I, yeah, it seemed pretty. Yeah, it, looked, it looked pretty creepy. So yeah, yeah, I liked it, it too. It looked, it looked interesting. Um, also, Returnal is a bad name, but also a good name at the same time. <laughs> well, well, it could have only been made made better if they'd called it Say Returnal it. Fall. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, what else did I quite like the look of? Um, There's one game that's missing on this list that McCumble has put on. Oh, no, I want to talk about that. Because I've got some yeah, I, I want to mention it too. Um, thing, things that I was, I, yeah, Spider Man's going to be good. Um, Ratchet and Clank's going to be good. I did quite yeah. like the look of Project Athea. I don't, we don't know what it is yet because it was just kind of proof of concept yeah. stuff that they seem to show. But I, I did like the the look of what they showed. Um, Will it make out before the end of the generation? <laughs> <laughs> That's always the question. There's always Square one. Where are there's, there's always one yeah. or two that they show, and you're just never going to see it. Like, yeah, you know, well, like ten years time. Maybe not before Grand Theft Auto Six. Um, <laughs> uh, things that I didn't care for. Care for Oddworld, Soulstorm. Never liked the Oddworld games. Oh, um, really? So not fussed okay. about that. Um, Godfall just looked as generic as fuck. Um, um, I think it uh, might if have been. Watched... Sorry, if you watched the I haven't, yeah, seen, the I haven't seen the, the, the post show interview, so it may just be that I, the trailer that they showed just did not grab me at all. Well, no, they kept showing you, the same if, thing if over and Shaw, over. If you listen to Sh if you're watching Shane along with Shane, Shane goes, "This could be a PlayStation 5's uh, version of uh, uh, is it the right was the Rome game, the uh, one of the Rise, Rise, yeah, so it could be as bad as that. Yeah, <laughs> okay, the, like the that game, is, that's that's a case where gameplay actually <laughs> hurts the reveal because okay, you're showing me gameplay, but I don't understand any any context for it. Like, yeah. what am I actually doing? Like, am was, I just slashing guys? Like, give that's me... all they showed. It was quick, people too. slashing it. And Michael, was... even the developer didn't say anything about what you're actually doing. He just talked about how you can feel that you're hitting the things. And I'm like, well, it's good that you... That I was well, I'm sure that as, on other games, that would be awesome. But it didn't make me interested more well, in that game. It, it didn't matter like, oh, so cool much for Destiny. Works. Works. So Destiny is just, here's, a, here's some cool ways to shoot people. And the, sh the shooting looks really good. If you want right. to know what the fuck's going on, here's a uh, here's a encyclopedia of information that you can't possibly read or care for. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing they've made a, a hack and slash destiny, which whatever. Um, other stuff that I didn't didn't care for: NBA 2K21, glorified gambling bollocks. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. Definitely. I quite uh, like the, the light shimmer in the sweat, though. That was quite impressive. That you you're not going to see anyways, because but, like, at least not only in replays, or I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, we can we I'm can make our roulette it, but... wheels look as amazing as we want. Well done. <laughs> Power of the PlayStation 5. <laughs> <laughs> no, lo no loading time. Power to the between players. loot boxes. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, uh... Gran Turismo 7, whatever. It's another Gran Turismo. Yeah. Carl's look nice, didn't they? Yeah. Some of the ray tracing looked pretty cool, to be fair. That was one of the one the at least that actually we... did show quite good ray tracing in it, if you're interested in that. Yeah. Again, they kind of took it from a what other games could do with it, rather than... Yeah, from a technical standpoint, I, look, I thought that, that looks, it looks quite nice. The cars look nice. Um, yeah. The motion blur that when you're driving along, um, um, uh, the, the, the way the fidelity works on that, I think they've actually 
they they must have done quite a lot of work because if you're looking in your because people can get confused about how the human eye works and dan you'll know this because we see in a cone and, yep. and we f we focus on a very small circular area and everything else around it is slightly blurred um which is why some people put motion blur in their games to make it look more realistic but what they okay. what Makes sense. i took from the what they showed of that is the periphery is blurred not only because you're going at high speed but that's what it's kind of it would look like if you were driving anyway at that speed um, yeah um so the the fact that your your focus is on the dashboard the car in front the road um and, the, and the everything mirror, else. The, rear, the rear, yeah. rear mirror as well the rear mirror was yeah. clear but then the things on the side of the rear mirror so things would be blurred in real life were blurred it was that was quite technologically it was impressive i had no desire to play that game or buy that game no, absolutely some, not. Of, I couldn't some of the give stuff a in it was good to look at <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's only how I took it. Uh, uh, yeah, and Sackboy, whatever. I'm just going to be too busy um, taking a, um, a cat on its redemption story to reveal how cats <laughs> killed off the human race and now they're all sad. And halfway through the game, you you switch to the dogs. Oh man, if that's the mm -hmm. case, then I'll sign up for that game. Um, it's funny that so that Sackboy game is like a the one question uh, I want to ask Mar was, no one mentioned, so obviously it was a bit forgettable, uh, Res 8? I know it's not probably a PlayStation exclusive, but Resident anyone, Evil 8. What, yeah, Resident Evil 8. What's thoughts? Any thoughts on that? Village? Not really. Weren't interested. I thought, oh, I thought, I thought, was, I thought Evan was going to bring it up, but he didn't. So, And and also, I, what, what did we actually see? Yeah, nothing. So, cool. We saw a concept. Well, we saw a CG trailer that kind of gives you a bit of the setting for it. Um, is it a direct follow-on um, sequel? Is it the same character from Seven? Seven. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. That's what I read. Yeah, that makes it more is sense. So, it's so similar to elements of Resident Evil Four, with like the village leading to the castle, which ex which happens in Resident Evil Four. That it. Makes me worried that they're not going to remake for. No, they are. The, the, the remake they of are. four is supposed to come out the following year, which is yeah. Isn't that weird? weird. Yeah, but it's really weird. weird. I would. I mean, I would rather play a remake of four than a first-person game that's well, pretending like to be. You get in a game that's inspired by four, and then the following year you get to play four again. I, I, I feel like oh, they're and, overdoing that a little and bit. And by the way, Liam, yeah, the first thing I I thought when I saw Sackboy was like, oh, this they totally saw three D. Or yeah, Mario, Super Mario 3D World. And they're like, well, well let's make I a game like that. Th they're also um, remastering 3D World on the Switch this year. So I just thought, hmm, yeah, just I'm probably not going to be. I'm just going to play that instead. Yeah, it's it's an yeah, it, it's, yeah that that game is so underrated. It's it's ridiculous. The game is amazing. Before we get onto the game that this this list is chopped off. Yeah, there's actually um, two games that the list is chopped off. Just looking at it. Really? Yeah. Oh, so they they showed a whole other heap of stuff other than the console so there's console two skews of that the controller the dual sense the headphones the yeah. camera and um, charger remote control and remote control uh, yeah media remote yeah how much would it be if all of that was bundled together a grand <laughs> yeah it's at least a at least a thousand i think bucks. a grand i think a thousand pounds what? For two it's controllers, the uh, media uh, controller, the head. I think the headphones are going to be 150, 250 or 980. 80 to 150, I think the headset is going to be. Uh, it, it won't. The current headset is currently 80. For 1,000, so I think they would try to make it more appealing and keep it 800 or 850. The, the reason why I was... they, they wouldn't make you pay that much for it. They the would I, don't, I don't think they're going to bundle it. The they're just going to sell them all separately. I don't know. Bundle it'll be separate. Yeah. I'm just saying if you bought it all together, yeah. I think an extra control. I think the headset, current headsets, are eighty quid for PlayStation. If you get them a deal, it can be cheaper, but they are eighty. And they said this is an upgrade to that, so I'm are thinking it'll be between eighty and one hundred fifty. Yeah, the thing, obviously. the thing that when I when I saw that the headphones, I was thinking, right, shit. Um, are, how are they? How is the best implementation of 3D audio going to happen? Is it going to work with 
any set of headphones or is there going to be special so. software built in? So if you want the 3D audio, you've got to buy these things. <laughs> and I probably um, will buy them because I've just discovered the headset I bought because I cheaped out. So doesn't is actually that work with my PlayStation them? 4. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, so I'm like, oh well, I won't buy any any another headset. I just use my in-ear like headphones, and then just buy that on release of PlayStation Five. Would, would that headset uh, be? <laughs> They've already got me purchasing yeah, it. Because <laughs> they usually have like a like a cheaper version than. So one. for the the headphones, the headphones that you can currently yeah. buy. So I've got the I've got the gold one, yeah. but you can also buy the platinum ones. So the one that I bought because the platinum was, think, costs. Uh, one fifty. Yeah, they're really expensive. The ones yeah, that I they bought... they have three D audio. The platinum ones do. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I read, let me find it. it. I did read something about these headphones. Yeah, oh, yeah. So oh, okay. Are, That's them. These are the platinum ones. Yeah, but they're pretty one. good. Yeah, they, they are um, great. I I, I I bought them for uh, actually not bought them for but actually Red Dead Redemption Two on PS4 has like dedicated profiles on the app, so it like. I, I tried two different headsets and you can tell it's way more, like you can hear a lot more things. Just like they did previously on PS3 with GTA 5, they, they did a similar thing. Like if you bought okay. that platinum headset, again, you could hear like the bugs smashing themselves in the in the lights on, oh, on, okay. on, the, on in the rural area uh, near the house. It's like you could hear stuff like that, like extra insects in the grass it was interesting uh, one one side note on the 3d audio and i'm not one of the people that like reads an article like they should take the savage out of uh return to the savage planet because that's a, a word that has a lot of weight to it type of person <laughs> however i just wanted to bring up in the 3d audio section you know how they showed like the deer it was kind of like moseying through the the living room to show you like th natural 3d audio Okay. Do you remember the section where they they, yeah, they showed yeah, like yeah. the SSD? They showed the, and then they said natural 3D audio, and then they show like an atomic bomb drop, like the vibrations of an atomic bomb drop. That seems kind of weird for a, a company that's based in Japan. Like, <laughs> maybe, no, maybe no one, maybe no one cares, but I'll tell you, living in Japan, people are, at least in Japan, right? People are very, very sensitive to that imagery. Yeah, I'm not yes. one to like stoke the flames, any of this stuff. I just saw, I, I, because I live here, I've lived here for almost 10 years. When I saw that, I'm like, uh, I, I don't, maybe you should have used a different image to signify like awesome 3d audio, but that's just me. Just, just a, just a, a note. <laughs> that I it well, 3D audio. Hear the atomic <laughs> bomb going off. Ah! <laughs> from the minimum information <laughs> released, it does look like the new headset will be an upgrade from the platinum. So if you're saying the platinum's 150, you're thinking you're gonna be paying that for the the new headset. Did, did well, any of you uh, watch the event with headphones on? Because I didn't. And no, I, I did. I, 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 did. I, I have questions because they they said like. Anyways, how are they going to carry out the the three D audio? Because uh, it's not the the current three D audio that you could experience in Uncharted so, Four. Because I know that had that had three D audio. Uh, from but, what a few of the developers said, Rafa was um, that uh, basically uh, you would be like uh, almost footsteps and you'd hear things behind you and it would feel like if you closed your eyes, you could immerse yourself in the world by hearing things 360 around you. I mean, you. I can't understand what, what it does, but I don't understand how it does because it seems, because I would imagine you would need hardware. You would need to get hardware to get that. But apparently that, like any any audio setup, will be working yeah, regardless I mean, of you wearing headphones it, or just it, using the deep speakers dolby's been like doing that audio. for years um yeah. it just makes you think that the audio is behind you yeah it's, it's yeah. how yeah, good I the mean, simulation is it's got i only need to buy a different the way it uses the projections i need to buy a different tv because i've only got a 10 ntp tv so there's no point me buying one of these consoles until i get a new telly no you got 4k <laughs> yeah that's that's another yeah. point yeah. Uh, um so the, the, the game I wanted to talk about, which I haven't mentioned, was uh, Goodbye Volcano High, which oh, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm ever going to buy the game, the game. Yeah. but uh, was there was one other game as well. But again, I wasn't interested in that game either. Um, but basically, uh, the developer spoke about it. And from what you I gather... Dino Dinosaur's Life is Strange. 
Yeah, but it's not that. There's no <laughs> gameplay aspects. From what they gather, you don't control the player walking down the corridors. It's literally like a cinematic audio book where you just click the... From what they were saying, the gameplay mm, mechanics are like a storybook. So I can't imagine this will be a full price game. It looks like it will be probably a reduced price game. And it's like you're going, you're doing it through the audio and the haptic feedback from the controller is how you're going to experience this game. You're not that literally so going to use joysticks. I did not it's know. going to be like that rather than walking around the high school. It's going to be like a storybook that interacts with you. I, I think it's quite game. smug with the name, but by Volcano High and then it's a comet that comes from the, because they are all I dinosaurs. Think, I like <laughs> yeah. the logo. The logo is pretty, yeah. it's pretty neat. I think it's quite, I said, Evan, they Evan they was show. sitting there. I had this picture. He was sitting there like this going, please be teenage dinosaur dating simulator. <laughs> so and, and everything they showed oh, no, was live gameplay. So you know that it video they showed? Like that, was game, that was the gameplay. It looks like a video, but that's basically their gameplay. So it does not actually... Appre- that is what the game will be. Um, so what one, thing to was appreciate, like, one thing to so, appreciate about that game is now that with the PS5, you can have like immense amounts of tessellation and high geometry because like you could have like i i I thought i was watching a cartoon like you can look on the edge of the characters of the the free and you you like it's becoming so difficult to tell it took me like three watches to realize that that was the case yeah yeah so anyway i recently learned a new word the new word is zillennial and wow. that's, what that's what this no. game makes me think. Like, Zelenio. This, this game embodies Zelenial to me. Zel- um, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I don't really have an interest in... It looks I'm cool. I like, I I like the aspect that it looks like a cartoon, but other than that... Basically, um, it's going to be a cartoon like, that you interact with. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't like anything I with animal hybrid people. Like, <laughs> so, I, I mean, I, I don't know, but I just, I've, I've, I've thought about history. And I'm, like, I'm with you, they, they didn't look like that. They, they looked like a gigantic creature, but, but yeah. well, they didn't like English. any of the dinosaurs you've ever seen didn't look like I'm they did. You. They were feathers, uh, but we don't. And we wrote why, those out. Why, like why aren't they things. eating each other? You know, I mean, I, I'm sorry, but I just don't think the Tyrannosaurus is going to agree with the Triceratops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you're playing a guitar, or, that's for sure. And the I, other I one? want to say a few words about the other game that's not yeah. on, on this list, uh, and that is uh, uh, Jet Far Shore. Oh, so. there's one more game as well, not mentioned there. Oh, okay, okay. Jet the Far Wait, Shore. So, uh, yeah, that would be quite interesting. Um, so it's uh, if uh, if you don't uh, have it in mind, like what game I'm talking about, like they they first show a tribe. And then they show a space station, and both yeah. the tribe and the space station have the same like marking on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really atmospheric. They they show like through a lens, uh-huh. like a small ship going through mm-hmm. vast terrains. But I don't think that's the gameplay. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I don't need, I don't notice this the first time when I watched that uh, during the event. But then I watched a reaction, and then I I I, I saw it right in. Uh, in the beginning, they say the name of the the guys doing the, this game. It's Super Brothers. Yeah, the they, guys did they're sword and sorcery. Yeah, which is, they, good, which is a good game. I like I like that game a lot. Oh, okay, because th- th- this was the whole point. I wanted to wholeheartedly recommend you that game. Like I played it on, on awesome. mobile awesome. when it released yeah. with headphones, uh, and like it, it delivers. Like it was one of the most atmospheric and profound experiences, especially on mobile. That's like. I don't know, like 2D Zelda um, yeah. and that sort of thing. Like, I don't know, like it's very, very deep. It's aware that it, it, it is a mobile game and it, 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 like it respects the medium. It's not mm-hmm. trying to be like a handheld game or anything else. It, 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 it's a game that makes total and perfect sense for, for being a mobile game. And of course they brought it to other platforms, but that's where I played it the first time. And I, I, I thought it was the most... Uh, the, the, the the actually the best mobile game I ever played. Um, it translates and, uh, well to yeah. PC too. That's where I played well, it. Yeah. Um, uh, but the the audio design and everything. So I'm really excited about this one. Uh, they also recently made Below, which I wasn't interested in playing up until recently when they revealed that they are going to patch in an accessibility uh, mode uh, because I'm not really a fan of 
I, I like I don't like playing I, I like playing games to relax myself. I don't like playing games that constantly punish you and you have to uh, uh, reiteration to get better and better and better. I, I, I don't really enjoy that. So I'm gonna give below uh, a try um, as soon as I uh, as I get the chance. Um, they they, they again, love their z super zoomed out cameras, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Quite, so uh, yeah. I, I really want to see what that game is uh, about, and uh, of course I'm really excited about this one as well because just 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 based on on that game I played on mobile, I know they they do really 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 good stuff, and uh, they 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 develop they, their games so carefully. So yeah, that was a pleasant surprise to see there. Um, and Speaking the of other punishing game that's not games, been mentioned, yeah, also, is was uh, if anyone's interested in demolition derbies, demolition all stars, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's an awesome PlayStation One game. What make what makes yeah, me laugh seriously. is is it a remake, like a spiritual successor, spiritual okay. successor. So yeah, what's but, the idea uh, about it? Because uh, uh, from the trailer, I. I I reckon that's what it is. Like you get your vehicle destroyed, and then you can try and survive on foot. Is that that's it? what it looks like. But anyway, I'm not way, very yeah. interested in this game. But I just thought we should probably yeah. mention it. I thought it was a. I thought it was a sequel else. to Rocket League at first. I was like, I, oh, yeah, I, was so all I. I was all excited oh, about I'm it. So and excited then, to And then I saw the other stuff, and I was like, I don't care. Yeah. It looks like a looks like a crappy Rocket League. In my eyes, that was the. But that was all I got. That, that was the other game that I had complaints about the music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the music in the trailer was awful. Yeah, I don't. Know Even though I, the game looks good, though, I think. All right, uh, so gentlemen, should we start to wrap it up? We've been going for nearly two hours. Final thoughts? Yeah, worth it. <laughs> um, uh, I'm probably day one and day by PlayStation Five. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm not going to buy an now. Xbox. I don't, I don't know whether. Whether even though I gave the conference a, a low a B, um, I'm still probably going to buy the thing on, if I can, obviously because it's not me really going to be released. But if there's a, if I can pre-order it, I probably will do. I'm already already kind of realised that before this, uh, and the fact that Spider Man's coming, Horizon's coming, that's all they needed really to sign me up. Same. Uh, ideally, if I if I can, I just need a price. Uh, but ideally, I would try to score one day one. Like as soon as pre-orders go up, I will try to secure one and uh, improvise afterwards in terms of how I'm going to pay for it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, like I'm, 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 I'm sold on it. I like, I'm, I'm, I really want to see how it feels to play with that control. Yep. Uh, one thing I'd say is, is um, if you're decided over which console you're going to get I, I think you're doing it a little bit preemptively because there's quite a lot to still happen Xbox i know that Liam, but I've, I've never owned an xbox oh I've no, no. Xbox I, I wasn't so talking always about, gonna buy a I, I, I wasn't talking to you i was just saying specifically oh, yeah. in general yeah, oh yeah of course it, i mean I've... xbox still has an event in january um in july and oh no and i'm and xbox both have another event in august so as a, PC... after that. As a pc game pass subscriber i'm quite excited for the xbox one because i know i can pick everything up on my pc so <laughs> yeah. i mean it's quite attractive the fact that you can pay for it in installments so it could be quite excessive like i don't know why i, I would own uh that console given that i also have a pc which i'm planning to upgrade so then it makes zero sense to get that but for for those who don't uh it's it's very attractive like mm. Mm, by the time i i could afford a ps5 and uh games that i exclusive that i care about come out on it I, I i think like rather than missing out on stuff i could actually put like put out every month 30 pounds to pay off uh mm. the xsx so mm. i think i i think that's that's how people will think about it i think so, so so Rafa, are you saying you're going to get both? Are you saying you're not no, no, going to no, get no, the Xbox? I'm, you're not I'm sure actually yet. planning to upgrade my PC like in the near okay. future. Um, uh, okay, I see. Evan? Um, yeah, I'm going to get it. Um, I hate what it looks like. It's fucking the worst. <laughs> it's the most hideous console I've ever seen in my entire life. And that's I'm not, it's not even engaging in... It's uh, almost as I, tall as a PC unit. Like it's it's, it's, it's going to be massive. It's it, yeah, it's, it's not going to fit. Be huge. 
It might not even fit in my in my my house, let alone my entertainment center. But um, you could use it as a radiator. You put it by the feet during the. Winter. I should have said my entertainment center, let alone my house. I apologize for my poor English. But did anybody um, see those images of the PlayStation Five and they like put the Eye of Sauron on top of it? Yep, yeah, yep. yeah, you, yeah you, you, really can, you, can, you can never right. unsee it. Um, but I think Dan, we we spoke about this. This will be the first time in my life that I'll actually be able. I have the disposable income to purchase a yep. console day one. So there's okay. something about being able to slap that money down on the. I, I really, I actually want to do that. I want to just like slap it down on the table and have the person <laughs> me like nervously look at me like, "Why did you do that?" But um, what I'll probably do is I'll buy it, and then I'll trade it in for the updated version. Hopefully it's black. Hopefully it comes in black at some point. Hopefully it's slimmer and it doesn't look like a piece of shit. But yeah, I'll buy it. But I don't, my, have, I don't have any options be, here, so. As soon as uh, the backwards compatible details are being detailed out, I think I'm like, I, I can survive a few months, but I, I would, I'm, I'm willing to go sell my PS4 Pro right away. Like, I'm if, excited to see loading times on this new thing, like control yeah. to see some of the, the jitteriness go away, to see the ray tracing. Like, yeah, because now it's yeah, I'm excited to pop in old discs. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it if I can find it. I mean. Like Liam said, like the uh, people might not have the money to purchase this five. Was it five million? Seems like enough for at least this first round. It's not going to be like the Switch flying off shelves. So I'm not going to be sitting at my my PC like I'm trying to buy some fucking uh, Jordans and it's going to be gone because bots are going to steal. Like I'm not doing any of that. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, I'll wait. But I, I want to buy it as soon as possible. Keith? Oh, is it, my, is it my turn? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really, I really don't. Because I waited, I waited until the PS4 Pro came out to, before I got my first ever PlayStation. So I don't know with this whether or not I actually wait until some of the bigger titles actually launch um, and say, use the money that I would save by getting a um, Series X and Game Pass Ultimate and then save up again and then get a PlayStation later on in the generation. And because I, my, my PS4 Pro is still, I've still got, because one, one thing that I did think about that they haven't announced is what happens to the games that I've got now. So what is, if I've got Ghost of Tsushima, what does that run like on a PS5? Good point. That's um, the thing, they said you, you need to install them on a, on a separate hard drive. No, no, that, no, no. I th no, I think that'll be in August because I haven't announced it yet because I don't want to do away with sales. So, Last of Us yeah. 2 and Ghost so, of Tsushima. So I'm, I'm still, I'm still holding August. out for things like, what, what is um, that? What's going to happen with that? that? Um, are you going to do a Nintendo and make me buy the same fucking game twice? Because it, no, no, no. I think they're going to try. They've, they've, that, they've already made it very clear, although people uh, that watch the Mark Cerny event, like, I don't know why it goes over people's heads. They made it very clear, like, what they've done. Basically, the PlayStation 5 comes with. Uh, five different pillars of backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 4. Uh, one is games that are actually patched to take full capability of the system. Uh, the other one is boost mode, which just basically, without patching games, it uses uh, emulation to basically speed them up so you get faster loading times, run at a higher uh, resolution and possibly a higher frame rate. And then there's PlayStation 4 Pro mode, which basically means that it just runs exactly the same as it would on a PlayStation 4 Pro. And that's what the majority of the titles would be on the PlayStation 5. No, no, there's a hundred there's few games that aren't compatible. Didn't there's, they say um, no, no, no. There's a hundred there's a games that that will... to use, which is show, don't yeah. tell. Well, I mean, how, 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 how do you organize that? Like, you know, yeah. Liam, you have the to get the right in there. Screen, though, um, the, hundred, the hundred games are games specifically patched for PlayStation for, 5. For PlayStation 5. Yeah, that's what I thought. Most, yeah. most of the titles in the whole catalogue should work with the boost mode, but they're going through yeah. them one by one to make sure that they don't break the games, essentially. Yeah, of course. And then anything else that can't run on it will just run as... It's like the PlayStation 5 is working as a PlayStation 4 Pro would, and so it'll run exactly the same as it would if it was a PlayStation 4 Pro. Okay. They also have a, I also want to find out what, what their streaming solution is going to be as well. Hmm. Yeah, they need to be better. They need to be a lot better than yeah. what they are right now. And if we yeah. just keep talking, it means that one, Evan can't go to bed, and two, Matt can't go and get his breakfast. 
<laughs> I'm hungry too. I want to go get some. Yeah, right, I'm drinking um, grape Tropicana and grapefruit juice. Oh. It's about uh, it's definitely more than five percent alcohol by heart. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy. Yeah, uh, easy on the grapefruit. And on that note, uh, it's a box next. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy Mass oh. Effect Two and Three <laughs> Actually, on yeah. my Xbox One and probably go play those. So all right. Nice. And I have to, sh- I have to, I have to show my significant other. <laughs> bug snacks. Bug snacks. <laughs> bug, sna- bug snacks. It's all bug snacks. It's all bug snacks. Bug snacks. Right. Um, I-, I think it's time to go. Bug snacks. We don't normally do an extra map this morning. We turn and talk and map plays music. And that is exactly what has just happened. We're already on the outro screen and we're done.